It's as if there are two wolves living inside you. One wolf is good. He only fights when he is right to do so. Another wolf is hateful. He fights no matter the reason. It's as if these two wolves are both fighting to dominate your spirit. And they ask his grandfather which wolf is stronger. And the grandfather looked into his grandson's eyes and he said, It's the one you feed. Process started. I'm gonna do the online stuff first. Uh, you probably won't see that. Um, and I'll do the swap and I will mail it off, which you probably won't see. So it's real simple system. Uh, it has so many benefits to your dog, and it makes it easier, um, especially for studs and people want to breed to your stud and stuff like that they have a better understanding of his background not just uh his pedigree so i had to get this yg is next up i'll probably get his sometime tomorrow i guess we are actually gonna do one on puda as well because even though he's not a bully he is a dog that we really do care about and he gives us the most love and affection almost demands it so we got to take care of my micro bully my mi you spilled my water you can't even yell at him he has a he has a problem with loud noises i don't know he's real 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 skittish watch this loud noises loud noises Loud noises. Loud noises. See, he confuses him. I don't even know what to do. And my boy YG over here in the cut. Wondering what's going on. You next, boy. That's the Don Dada right there. Yeah. Okay, I talk it. I lived it. I did it. I got it. I spent it. Let's put up to the crib. After walking YG, we got a package, YG. We got a package, YG. Is that what I think it is? That's what I think it is, YG. That's what I think it is. For sure, for sure. I think it is what I think it is. Hopefully it is what the hell I ordered because it wasn't cheap. Gone. It was cheap, but the shipping wasn't cheap. Boom, boom, and there it is. There it is. There it is, my boy. There it is. Today is Friday. Tomorrow's Saturday. Yes, I got an appointment tomorrow. Oh, let's see. What is this? What did that say? Pure diatomaceous earth. Yeah, fossil shells, flower, silica, amorphous silica. So we got the diet to matrix earth. Um, it's a lot of controversy on this product. You got some people who say it's bad for your dog. Some people say it's good for your dog. And some people say that it's good for your dog, but a lot of people misuse it. I tend to lean with the people with the last one. It's a lot of people who misuse it and don't know how to use it. Um, basically what it is, is like some Prehistoric phytoplankton is really good for multiple things uh, in your dog. I'm not going to go into all of them, but it can be bad for your dog. Um, the way it's grounded up and stuff like that can be bad for your lungs and for your dog lungs. A lot of people use this as a flea killer, um, which I think is not what you should use it for. Um, it is food grade, so... Uh, your animals can't consume this, but if you inhale this, it can. It has a lot of nasty side effects that I'm not really gonna go get into. You can look it up yourself. I'm not 
an expert, um, but I have done my research on this product and I've done enough to say that I can use this the safe way. Um, yeah. I'm kind of going to use this after uh, I stop using my, um, what's that? What is that stuff called? Origins. Origins. So uh, after I use my Origins, I'm going to use this only because I don't want to mix them. And I want to see how each uh, of them works. I just started using Origins. Uh, which I think is an actually good product. I'm not going to lie. I made lamb last night for the dogs, and I seasoned it with the Origins. It stunk a little bit, but uh, I feel like it gave my dogs what they need. And just to touch on feeding your dog raw, I'm not against it or anything. I just did a little research and uh, found that for me and my dogs, I'm actually gonna start cooking my food. There's actually a lot of people who have um, switched to raw diet and just like most, I don't wanna call it a fad because it's not totally bad. Uh, it's not just like gun smoke or whatever, but um, when you feed, if you look at the research, uh, a lot of studies have shown that dogs have been coming up with a lot of um, bacterial and um, What's that? Salmonella poisoning. And um, it can only come from meat. I'm not saying meat is bad for you, but it has other stuff in there. So that's why I decided to start cooking my meat. Um, one dude argued with me uh, about the nutri nutritional value going down just for cooking the meat. And it's public information. If you look it up, the amount of Meat is just protein and a couple minerals, and you got meat. And the amount lost in the cooking process is not significant enough that it will severely or even just, it's real slight, basically, how it affects um, the uh, amount of minerals and proteins in it. So it's not worth justifying not cooking the food so in a preventative measure just to not get that extra stuff in my dog's tummies i'm gonna cook it it is what it is they got some lamb still left over from last night i mean some goat they gonna eat that this morning and just took them out so they should be ready to, to eat in a minute uh but yeah i just want to take a minute just to say that it's okay to cook your dog food my opinion is actually better you're not wrong if you just feed your dog raw you're just not, in my opinion, uh, being very preventative. Uh, you're not wrong. It's just your way. And that's another thing that I see people doing. Um, people give their opinion on something, and uh, they kind of get salty when a person doesn't agree with them, especially on Facebook, if you're a bully reader. Um, I don't get mad no more. I used to. I really did. And I used to be like, oh, I got to tell him this, tell him that. You don't. You don't even have to care. You don't even have to read it. Just keep doing what you're doing, what works for you. And um, hopefully you don't run into any of those problems. Because I would never say that I'm an expert, that I know everything. Actually, um, I uh, made a mistake in one of my last videos. When I went to the store with Mook, um, I mentioned that he had Catahoula in his, in his blood. Totally, I was totally ignorant on the fact that um, nobody really wants Catahoula in their bloodline. And after even talking to the dude that um, that I bought Mook from, he informed me that Mook has no Catahoula in his pedigree. He actually uh, has, he gets his color from um, Odie's, Old English, uh, Bulldogs, the big ones, and yeah, so, uh, I would never sit here and act like I know everything, or I'm an expert on dog, I'm a just a nigga who is gonna do his best, and do his research, and trust, uh, the research that I find, so yeah, I've been really getting big on 
genetics and learning from vets and stuff like that. So lately I've been away from the bully specific hype and just learning about dogs in general. You should always use a mask when wearing this stuff. I mean, when using this stuff, only because uh, health risks are associated in humans too. So I'm gonna put it in this 50 gallon, you feel me? Got my handy dandy mask on. When they delivered the package, it was like, kind of cut open some. And the day they were supposed to bring it, they didn't bring it, they brought it the next day. So I'm just kind of feeling like, they probably thought it was like some cocaine being trafficked or something. And they just like, not cocaine, we can take it back. So, yeah, mom on porch. I'm about to go ahead and put this shit in here so I can give it to them at a later date. This is like the last of it, but I just filled up that. It's filled to the brim brim. Probably won't have to open that for a while, but it's there. Dog food right there. You got these two things. What else did I fill up? Let's see. I filled up this Bully Stacks canine protein thing. It was, I had ran through that. Also the shaker it came with, filled that up. And I had to empty their beef liver though and fill this up. So all in all, update on the bullies. Got my micro bully pooter. Got my micro bully. Got my exotic XL. Exotic XL, that boy Merle. My boy Mook. Mook the Merle. They got a ring to it. Moot getting big. He didn't already catch up to caught up to YG in height. My boy YG over there taking a load off. You ain't did shit all day. Why is you laying down, son? Why you laying down, son? See, they around the same height. YG got muscle for days, and you still in your lanky stage. Can't wait for that boy to pop. Why he don't like round objects? Anything that's shaped like a balloon, he don't like that shit. Get down. You smell it? You smell it? Look at that big boy. I'm thugged out, nigga, but I just seen a motherfucker. Rainbow, nigga. I ain't that motherfucker thugged out, nigga. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker.